the left of the quarterback. Todd comes in motion. There is the snap. They'll fake the give, and it's a deep slant and almost intercepted. That one was read perfectly by one of the safeties, Brody Brumfield. Just as good as an interception at this point in the game. That is a turnover on downs. And, Matt, you're about to see the nation's second longest winning streak snapped. We are. Clock one more snap just for good measure. Might be, yep. Jack Roy up under center will take the snap again, drop to a knee, and that's going to do it. Let the celebration begin over on that far sideline as the run for the Martinsburg Bulldogs ends here tonight. 57 consecutive wins and 65 consecutive home victories against West Virginia opponents, and those streaks are snapped tonight by the Spring Valley Timberwolves. They stand side by side inside the 15-yard line. Scott ready to approach the ball from right to left, and this football game is underway. Little pooch kick, a high one that is going to hit, and we're back. I already mentioned he's got good size at 6'4", 211. His main running back is Cole Diamond, and he'll line up alongside the quarterback who's in the shotgun. Handoff to Diamond, hit at the line of scrimmage, and he breaks free to the outside. He's up to the 50-yard line and goes. Their quarterback is in the pistol formation. Little bubble screen to the far side, and it is caught at about the 45-yard line and taken down to about the 42. Handoff goes right up the middle. Ball Number taken one, inside the territory with the football at the Fairmont 39. Polar Bears dig in along the defensive line now. Wingbacks left and right. Wingback goes in motion. Handoff comes to the wingback, and he's hit behind the line of scrimmage and then breaks free. Down the 40, the 30, the 20, along the sidelines at the 15, and then pushed out of bounds inside one, the 15 at about the 11-yard line. But there's a flag down and a holding penalty pending against the Timberwolves. Quarterback Roy on this third and long. And here's Roy on a keeper off the left side. Breaks a tackle at the line of scrimmage, but he'll not break the second one. The Polar Bears have him. Dylan Hours and Jace Dalton sack the quarterback inside Spring Valley territory at the 48-yard line. For the Polar Bears, punt will go from left to right. Good snap. Roy has lots of time. Low punt, and it angles to the far side. And Dennison isn't sure what to do, and so he lets it roll out of bounds. The yard line. Gage Michael starts out with an empty backfield on this first down play. Back to pass, looks now running out of the pocket, looks downfield, fires it, and it is caught by Scott at the 30-yard line. He's in the shotgun. He has Cottingham wide to the left side along with Brophy. Keyshawn goes in motion, and Gage is running with a football, and he carries it out over two receivers to the right, Shariza and Dennison. Michael takes the snap, rolls to the near side, looks downfield. Now he unleashes it, wide open, Brophy at the 50, down to the 40, the 30, the 20, the 15, the 10, the 5, he's into the end zone, hits a polar bear touchdown. A 91-yard TD pass from Gage Michael to Alex Brophy, and the polar bear score first and lead it 6 to nothing. Brophy was so open, there was nobody within 10 or 15 yards of him, and he caught the football at the 50, turned, and took off towards the end zone and made it untouched, and the Polar Bears now have a 6 to nothing lead. Ball down on the tee, and Scott's kick is up, and it is very ugly, but it is good. And Brumfield. Last time, Nick just had a little pooch kick that went about 20 yards. And he does a little onside like pooch kick again, and he just fall on the near hash marks. Their quarterback sends Brody Brumfield in motion, and he hands it up the middle, and it comes to Diamond, and Diamond is upended as he takes it over the 40 to have a split end to the left side now. Wing back left and right. In motion goes the wing back from right to left, and he takes the football up to about the 48 yard. Wing back to the right. In motion goes Brumfield, handoff goes up the middle, and there's nothing. Dylan Hours is Brumfield. Under center, the quarterback, Roy, hands it off, and it's carried by Brumfield. Quarterback under center, they come out in the I formation this time. 
And Roy gives it to Diamond, trying to get outside. He's hit at the line of scrimmage, but he surges forward and gets the first down. Spring Valley, tight formation now. And they send Brumfield in motion. Quarterback Roy back to pass over the middle. He has a man open, and he's got it in the end zone for the Spring Valley touchdown. Jace Caldwell, perfectly thrown pass. It's a 40-yard TD pass from Roy to Caldwell, and it's a 7-6 game. Isaac Workman will attempt the extra point, and the snap goes all the way over his head. The kicker will just fall on it back at the 27-yard line. So likes to pooch kick the ball. Soccer-style kicker, short run up to the ball. There's the little pooch kick. Fair catch called for by the Polar Bears, and Dylan Hours is run into, but he called for a fair catch, and Spring Valley tries to come up with the loose ball, but they hit him when he tried to catch it, and that uh, there'll be no fumble on this play. Ten play. Play clock at three. Kind of have to hustle to get the play off, and he just does. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket, now runs with the ball. He gets to the 50, and he's hit hard. It outs to the right side, two to the left. Empty backfield for Michael on this second down, seven play. Gage rolls to the right in trouble. Now hit by his own man and goes down. Ian Campbell. Michael out of the shotgun. He has a blocker beside him. Takes the snap, getting pressure. Steps up in the pocket. Now runs to the far side of the field, goes to the sidelines, and runs out of bounds at about the 40, 44. And nobody back deep for Spring Valley. Dennison gets the snap, and there's the rugby punt. High floater that hits at the 35 and then takes. The Spring Valley scores per possession. First down 10 from the 36-yard line. In motion goes Brumfield. Handoff goes up the middle, and that's Diamond, and Diamond has the ball almost Eight taken out of his hands. The ball is in Polar Bear territory, first down and 10. Polar Bears lead this game seven to six. Up under center, the quarterback, Roy. And Roy is hit, and he goes down. Nick Scott shooting in Number from his linebacker position, and he grabbed him by the ankles Number and threw the quarterback Scott. down for a loss back at the 48-yard line. Diamond behind the quarterback, who's under center, and the handoff goes to Brody Brumfield. Brumfield takes the ball up the middle and takes it down to the 45-yard line. Quarterback, Jack Roy up under center. And there is the handoff to Brumfield. Comes wide to the near side, and he is stopped short of the first down at the 43-yard line. Dylan Howers in on the stop for the Polar Bears. And there's a flag thrown on the play. Wolves to the line of scrimmage. Their quarterback up under center now. Diamond the running back behind him, and there is the give up the middle to Diamond, and he breaks through a hole. There's a final play of the first quarter. Up under center, quarterback Jack Roy. Diamond behind him. And Diamond gets the handoff. Diamond will take it down to about the 10-yard line, tripped up by Eric the Polar Bears, along with Darius Hubbard and Will Runyon. Up under center is the quarterback, Jack Roy. And Roy gives it to Diamond. Diamond slashes his way inside the 10, down to about the 6-yard line. Well, on the left side this time, quarterback Roy gives it to Diamond. Diamond trying to get outside, can't do it. He's hit and brought down. This is Spring Valley's strong suit. Power football from the three. Under center is Roy. He fumbles the football, and let's see who's got it. And the Polar Bears have recovered. <laughs> Fairmont has the fumble recovery and will have the football. Kobe Toothman appeared to be the player who fell on the loose ball, and the Polar Bears get it. Michael has an empty backfield. He's going to run the football, takes it wide to the near side. He gets up to the five, he's up to the 10, and then dives over the 10-yard line. To the left of Michael, who's in the shotgun. Takes the snap, quick pass, far side of the field, and it is caught by Cottingham. He is grabbed by the jersey at the 11-yard line and brought down there. Fairmont leads it 7-6, deep in its own territory. Michael takes the snap, he's back to pass. Chased out of the pocket, running up field. He gets up to the 10. Close to the 15, else considers this the top team in Class AAA. Michael on a third down and long, back to pass. Chased out of the pocket, now running upfield. He gets back to the 15, still running, and he's upended at about the 17-yard line. Yard line, the line of scrimmage is the 18. Lots of time, punts it away. Wobbling line drive, hits at the 50, takes a polar bear roll. And there it goes inside the 45, the 40, and down to the 38-yard line. And Spring Valley territory in the center of the field. 
their quarterback is back in the shotgun formation now. He has two receivers to the left and to the right. And he hands this one off. It's taken right up the middle by Brumfield. Second down and four from the 43 yard line. Shotgun formation for Roy. Here comes a pass to the near side and the pass is caught at the 49. Mont territory. Clock turns inside seven minutes to go until halftime. Two receivers to the right, two to the left. And here is the handoff to Brody Hinchman or to Brody Rumfield rather, and 2-0 on the season. Victories over Parkersburg, 42-7, and Martinsburg, 22-20. Ball at the Fairmont, 48. Roy, out of the shotgun, takes the snap, getting pressure, now chased out of the pocket. Fires downfield, the pass is caught nicely. Out of the shotgun formation is Jack Roy. Roy takes the snap, and he wants to pass. Now chased out of the pocket, running to the near side of the field. And he's heading to the sidelines, and he breaks free and gets the first down. The Polar Bears had three players around him. Not one of them could bring him down. He gets free and gets the first down at the 40-yard line. Sounds play. Quarterback Roy out of the shotgun. Takes the snap, and he gives it to Brody Brumfield, who is tripped up, but he doesn't go down, and then breaks free and takes it down. Entire half. Second down and seven yards to go from the Fairmont 36. Here's the quarterback on a keeper to the near side. He's hit behind the line of scrimmage, and this time he's going down. Roy out of the shotgun. Gets the snap. Keeps it. No, gives it to Brumfield. Off the right side. Brumfield down to the 30. Directing his blocker in front of him at the 25, the 20, the 15, the 10, the 5, and into the end zone for the Spring Valley touchdown. Brody Brumfield scores on a 34-yard run, and Spring Valley has taken the lead. Quarterback comes up under center, the ball at the three yard line, and there's the tight end getting the handoff, and he takes the ball down to the goal line, and he's going to be stopped short. The Polar Bears stop him. Last time he kicked it to Dylan Hours, and there is another pooch to the far side of the field, and it is caught at the 34 yard line and taken up close to the 40. 40. Michael has two backs on either side of him as he takes the snap. He gives it to Cottingham. Cottingham looks for an opening, dances to the outside, and takes it to about the 40. Michael has three receivers to the left. Now he's going to run with the ball behind ours. He takes it up to the 45, close to the 50, and run out of bounds to his right. That's Dylan Hours. Third down, short, and Gage is going to run it. And he gets it inside the 50, down to the 45, stays on his feet, runs hard, takes it inside the 45 to the sidelines, and then loses his helmet in Spring Valley territory. Hours to the right of Stingo on this first down play. Gets the snap, gives it to Hours off the left side. Dylan takes it inside the 40, down to the 35. Still running at the 25 yard line. And he goes down. And Brophy to the right. Michael on a first and 10. Hands it off to Hours again. Dylan outside to the right. There's a flag, he's at the 20. Gets down to the 15 at the right of Michael on this first and long. And Gage is back to pass, getting pressured. Runs up in the pocket, but he's tripped up into a minute 20. Second and long Polar Bears from the 37 yard line. Here's Michael running with the football up the middle. He gets down to the 30, down to the 25, and then a late hit, and there's a flag. Pay no attention to the PA man. First and 10 at the 13 yard line. Snap comes back to Michael, and here's Gage on a keeper, and he'll struggle down for a couple of yards. Down to 27 seconds, Michael takes the snap. He's looking to pass. Now, runs to the near side of the field, passes into the end zone, and the pass is incomplete. Brophy, wide to the right, three receivers to the left. Empty backfield for Michael. Takes the snap, now he looks like he wants to run, and he takes it towards the center of the field, along with Dennison. Brophy, wide right. Fourth down. And nine from the 11 yard line. Michael back to pass. He's looking for Brophy. He throws it in the end zone. The pass is caught. It's a polar bear touchdown. Alex Brophy catches the 11 yard TD pass. And the polar bears take the lead 13 to 12. A bullet by Michael. He had Brophy isolated on the right side, three receivers to the left, and Brophy just a simple post pattern, and the pass caught by Brophy in the end zone, and the Polar Bears have a one-point lead. Go the holder, ours the snapper. 
Ball down on the tee. The kick is up, and the kick is good. Time out on the field with six seconds to go. Spring Valley expecting the pooch kick. And here it is from Scott. Little short pooch kick, and it is caught on the knee. Jack Roy, the quarterback, has thrown a touchdown pass tonight. He wants to throw this one, and the pass is caught along the sidelines and then dropped as one blocking back beside him. And he takes the snap. He's back to throw. Has time. Now going down to the near side of the field, and the pass is caught at the 30-yard line, and the re Receiver Ben Turner goes out of bounds at the 32, and the first half will come to an end. So a successful pass play, but not enough as time runs out at the end of the first half. After one half at East West Stadium in Fairmont, the Polar Bears have the lead over the state's top team in Class AAA. It's Fairmont Senior 14, Spring Valley 12. First play of the second half, Gage Michael decides to keep the ball to himself and he would take it 75 yards to the house as the Polar Bears extend their lead early in the third, 21-12. that fumble on the kickoff and the Polar Bears go first and 10 from the 35 moving from left to right. Michael low snap keeps the football off the left side puts his head down at the 30 the 25 the 20 and he goes down close to the 15 yard line at the 17. Snap to Michael hands it off to the near side with it is Cottingham he gets down to the 15 the 10 the 5 he's into the end zone that's a Polar Bear touchdown but a flag is on the on the field. And a holding penalty is coming up against the Polar Bears. To the right of Michael on this first and 10 play. Gage takes the snap and hands it to Hours. Hours bumped at the line of scrimmage. Will get down maybe to the 15. He has scored two touchdowns this evening. Three receivers to the left. Michael on a second and four takes the snap. Running to the left side. Now cuts it back. Puts his head down, reaches the ball forward down inside the 10 yard line. Situation before on a third down play. Michael takes the snap. He's looking to the near side, and the pass is batted down at the line of scrimmage, incomplete. Here in the third quarter, the Bears need three yards to keep the possession going as they inch closer to another score. Michael takes the shotgun snap, looks to pass, fires hard over the middle, and the pass is incomplete. In the backfield, Brody Brumfield alongside Roy, the quarterback. Brumfield gets the handoff off the right side, and he'll take it out over the 15. The ball at the 16-yard line. Roy out of the shotgun. Takes the snap, and he gives it off the right side to Brody Brumfield, who spins his way up close to the 20-yard line. It's on the play clock as... Roy brings his team up. He's under center this time. Third down and short, and he hands it off to Brumfield, and he's breaking a tackle at the line of scrimmage, getting the first down as the yard line. Shariza, cornerback on the near side. Quick handoff to Diamond. Diamond stretches out over the line of scrimmage up to the signals on a second and long. Gives it to Brody Brumfield, big hole. Gets out over the 35, up to the 40, then gives ground back to the 40-yard line and then is wrapped up and brought down at about the 41-yard line by... Ball at the 46-yard line. Roy, up under center this time, eye formation. Deep handoff goes to Diamond and Diamond is grabbed by Michael and he goes down at the line of scrimmage. For center, 
I formation now. Second down and 11. Hands it to the deep back, the tailback, who gets the football at the 45, over the 50, and down to about the 49-yard line. They move from right to left, and Roy is up under center on this third down and six. And he hands it off, and it's taken by Brumfield, Brody Brumfield, and he gets the first down. The I formation. Under center is Jack Roy. Roy tosses it to the right to Brody Brumfield. Brumfield along the sidelines is going to be run out of bounds. He takes the snap, and he is punting. It's a short punt, angles to the far side of the field, and will bounce and go out of bounds. And up in the slot to the right. One running back alongside Michael, and that's Cottingham. And Keyshawn gets the handoff. No, Michael keeps it. He gets out over the 30, the 45, the 50, inside the 50 to the 40, cuts to the outside along the sidelines to the 35, and he's brought down there. The beautiful fake to Cottingham, and Michael kept it, and he takes it down to the 35-yard line. It's a polar bear first down. Michael lets the play clock turn down. Out of the shotgun, takes the snap. He's running with it right up the middle. Takes it to the 20, and he's run down at about the 25-yard line. A bit winded. Second down and one from the 26. Play clock down to five. There's the snap, and there's the give to Hours. Hours bumped at the line of scrimmage, but he takes tacklers with him, and he should have enough for a Fairmont first down as he takes it. Jen Polar Bears from the 25. There's the snap, and there's a swing pass to Cottingham on the left side. Takes it down to the 25. Hit. Goes to the sidelines, and then just shotgun. Takes the snap. Gives it to Cottingham, looks for an opening. He's hit behind the line of scrimmage, squirts free. Gets back to the line of scrimmage and then is hit hard. Valley 19 yard line. Five seconds on the play clock. Michael takes the snap, he's looking to pass. Now chased out of the pocket. Now runs towards the center of the field. He's at the 15, he's at the 10, he's at the five. He angles to the goal line, he's into the end zone. It's a polar bear touchdown. Gage Michael, a 19-yard TD run, and the Polar Bears go on top 27 to 12. Stingo to hold, Hours will snap, the ball is on the tee, Scott's kick is up, and it is no good. Wide to the right. Ball teed up on the near hash marks at the 40. And there's another pooch kick to the far side of the field. And a fair catch is called for by and Runyon. Roy out of the pistol formation. Roy hands it off the right side, and there's not much off the right side. There's Dylan Hours to gobble up the ball carrier. Quarterback Roy out of the shotgun. On a second down play, he wants to pass, sets up, fires to the far side, and the pass is caught along the sidelines at about the 33-yard line. Corner on the near side, lines up as his wide receiver comes in his direction, and the quarterback Roy back to pass. He has lots of time over the middle. The pass is intercepted. The Polar Bears have it at the 40-yard line. It's Dominic Stingo with the interception, and Fairmont has it at its own 38 with 11.07 to go in the game. First down, 10 yards to go. Michael takes the snap and he gives it to Hours. Hours breaks a tackle at the line of scrimmage, takes it inside or over the 40, up close to the 43-yard line. Two running backs alongside Michael, takes the snap, and he keeps it right off the right side. Takes it to the 45, up to the 50, down the sidelines at the 40-yard line. Flag is thrown inside 10 minutes. First and 10 Polar Bears from the 50-yard line. Michael takes the snap, and he gives it to Cottingham. Gives ground, but then sees a hole inside the 50, down to the 45. Still running down to the first down marker at the 40-yard line. Seven, Spring Valley 12. Michael out of the shotgun. Takes the snap. He runs with it, and he just goes down. He sees defenders coming at him. So passes tonight. And obviously, in this situation, you wonder, will you put the ball in the air? Michael takes the snap. He's running with it. Will that ride to the right side? Gets down to the 40-yard line and then run out of bounds on the far side of the field. And a flag is thrown as Michael is hit out of bounds. It'll be a personal foul and give Fairmont Senior a first down. Cottingham to his right. Now Keyshawn inches back a few steps. First down play. Keyshawn Cottingham gets the handoff off the left side. There's another flag. Takes it inside the 15. He's down to the 10. He's down to the 5. Takes it down near the... 
goal line, and he'll not get in, but there's a flag on the play all the way back at the line of scrimmage. And holding is going to be called against the Polar Bears. A nice, nifty, shifty run by Cottingham, but it will not count. Eight seconds on the play clock. First down for the Polar Bears. Michael takes the snap. He gives it to Cottingham, and Cottingham is dropped behind the line of scrimmage. Out of the shotgun. Ball at the Spring Valley, 43, second and long. Snap comes back to Michael. He fakes it to Cottingham. Goes back to pass. Now runs out of the pocket. Upfield at the 40. Tripped up at the 36-yard line and goes down. Play clock at 7. Empty backfield. Michael takes the snap. Running with the football to the near side of the field. Heads to the sidelines and then dives down to the 35. He'll get a yard. Play clock at 5. Fourth and 17. Now there's the quick kick by Michael. And the ball goes inside the 10, inside the 5. And Fairmont Sr. is going to down the football just inside the five-yard line at the four. Spring Valley is not a team that typically plays the way they're going to have to play now. Roy back to pass, looking, chased around in the end zone. Now hit in the end zone, but breaks free, gets up to the five, up close to the 10-yard line, and goes down there. Begins to turn. Roy out of the shotgun. Fakes it to Diamond. Wants to pass. Passing downfield, and the pass is incomplete. Dropped at about the 45-yard line. Out of the shotgun, Roy hands it to Diamond. He's hit behind the line of scrimmage, and he's going down. Fourth down and six. Quarterback Roy takes the snap. He's rolling to the left side, looking, looking. Now he fires to the sidelines, and the pass is incomplete, and the Polar Bears take over on downs. Drew Laird, the center. Gage takes the snap, and he gives it to Dylan Hours off the right side. Dylan down to the 10 as he breaks a tackle at the 5 and goes down there. Goal from the 5. Michael takes the snap. Looking, looking. Now puts his head down and goes down at about the 5-yard line. Third and goal from the 5. Michael takes the snap, and he gives it to Dylan Hours. Off the right side, Dylan inside the five, wants to stay in bounds, and he twists and turns Number and spins five, down Dylan to about Hours. the two-yard line. Dylan Hours. Gage, out of the pistol formation, gives it to Dylan Hours, and he's dropped behind the line of scrimmage at the two-yard line. Five. Quarterback, out of the shotgun, Cole Diamond to his left, and here is Roy back to pass. Roy, getting backside pressure. Fires downfield long, and the pass is going to be broken up, and let's see who's got it. Quarterback Roy out of the shotgun. He's back to pass. Chased around in the pocket. He's in the end zone. Now he's going down, airing it out long, and the pass is incomplete along the sidelines. End zone. Out of the shotgun. Back to pass, a little quick pass to the near side, and it is caught at the one-yard line. Taken out over the five, up to the 10, the 15, and close to the 20-yard line. They're down in 10. Back to pass is Roy. Over the middle of the pass is almost intercepted. The got. Here's the snap, and the quarterback rolls to the left, looking to pass on the run, and now decides to run with the football down the sidelines. He's hit. He's brought down short of the 25-yard line. Fourth and five. Roy, out of the shotgun, takes the snap. He wants to pass. Scott after him, the pass caught by Page at the 35. He gets to the 40, up to the 45, and goes down at the 44-yard line. Left in the game, first down and 10. Quarterback Roy, back to pass, getting some pressure now. Running to the near side of the field. He's going to just, doesn't go out of bounds, and he leans forward inside one minute to go. Bears lead by 15. And here is Roy looking to pass, getting pressure up the middle. Now escapes to the far side of the field. Looking downfield, off balance, just throws the ball to the sidelines. Five seconds to go. Third down 11 for Spring Valley. Timberwolves, Roy back to pass. Little screen pass to the far side. Caught at the 40, taken up near midfield, up to the 50, and down the sidelines and run out of bounds on the far Number side of the field. Pass. Play by Spring Valley. The Polar Bears are going to have the state's biggest upset tonight. Back to pass is Roy. He's lofting it downfield, and he throws it a mile into the air. And the pass is caught by Page at the 15-yard line, and Page is going to be brought down with 20 seconds to go. And the clock now begins to turn. Roy takes the snap. He's looking to pass. Looking, looking, looking. Now he fires into the end zone, and the pass is incomplete. Back to pass is Roy. 
looks into the end zone. The pass is caught at the 10 yard line, taken inside the 10 and out of bounds to about the four left. Quarterback Roy out of the shotgun, takes the snap, he looks to pass, slams it into the end zone and overthrows his intended receiver. Scored on a 75 yard run. Roy back to pass, quick pass, incomplete, and the ball game is over. Now the officials say no time. They're saying there's one second to go. The final play of the game. Second down and goal to go. Roy back to pass. Time has run out. Roy running around in the pocket now into the end zone. The pass is caught for the Spring Valley Number touchdown as time has expired. The pass was caught in the end zone. For a Spring, Valley Spring Valley has scored. Turner catches the touchdown pass. But the ball game is over, and the Polar Bears have won it. Fairmont Senior with the state's biggest upset. And there is a big party on 12th Street. Final score tonight from East West Stadium. The Fairmont Senior Polar Bears 27, the Spring Valley Timberwolves 18.